Hello friend, Daniel here with StockMusicLicensing.com. This morning, after dropping the kids uh, to school, I went to the supermarket with my wife. I couldn't help listening to the tracks that they were playing in the background. Do you ever do this as a music composer? Do you ever check out the music that has been played on uh, not only supermarkets, but shops as well, like retail shops, malls? You remember those things? I mean, here, they, all of these shops are closed apart from the supermarkets, but I couldn't help listening to the quality of the music. How different it is uh, in, in, in terms of like where will this music live? Certainly not only a jungle, um, maybe Pond 5, but I was thinking more of a library like Audio Sparks, which I know they do this type of uh, thing, meaning that they do provide music for, for shops and for retail and a lot of these uh, supermarket stores as well. And, uh, and I find it fascinating. I was listening to this track. I was listening to, to I, couldn't ma I couldn't manage to, to record the one that I wanted to show you. Uh, it, it was just too late. I just finished by the time I started recording. But the one that I managed to record was better than the one before. The one before was terrible track. I was just thinking like, oh my God, it's really bad. Yet this music managed to get into a library somehow. Yet, this music sounds like elevator music, I guess. You know, when you go in an elevator, there's some music in the background. But it was a terrible music track. And I said, I better record this. And I started recording. And then the next track was not as bad. But I was thinking, like, okay, how many composers can actually make this type of music, actually? It's not that hard, if you think about it. So what I want to say is that some music tracks will work very well on a library and that same music track might not work so well on another library. And uh, certainly when we listen to music in, in real life, meaning uh, a real life example of a music that's been licensed, in this case for a supermarket, you can hear uh, the, the cheesiness, if you will. Like, I mean, if you think corporate music on Audio Jungle and, and other libraries, it might sound a little bit bland and and really that is not uh, that exciting. Uh, when you go to a place like a supermarket or a mall, uh, you know, it's no different. And actually it could be worse. And it, and it sounds really, really uh, uninspiring to say the least. And how can we as composers provide uh, better, better music? And actually you realize that it's not that hard to be successful. You realize that it's not that hard to actually provide better quality music, even for a supermarket. Now, I mentioned Audio Sparks because um, they have a big range of services, okay? And they provide different music to, to different places, to different uh, shops, not only for, for filmmakers and video makers, uh, but they have all the range. And I, I really highly recommend that you go and check out Audio Sparks. Um, I don't have much music on Audio Sparks, but I should upload more music because uh, there's a lot of opportunities there. I know a lot of composers are really successful on Audio Sparks. It's not Audio Jungle, it's not Pond 5. This is a different kind of like library. And Audio Sparks has been for a long, long time around. This is a very old library. Now, when I go to a supermarket and I hear the music in the background, I'm always really aware. And even with my daughter, Fedra, when we go to a supermarket and we listen to it. And she asked me the other day, like, how come we don't listen to your music here in the supermarket? <laughs> God bless her. And I said, like, that's a good point. Why is my music is not being played in this supermarket? You know, my music is much better than this, for sure. So it got me thinking. And today, in the morning when we went there, I was I listened to this track. I'm like, oh, my God, this is terrible. Maybe I should start recording, start my vlog here early in the morning with a phone. And I can share this with you. Supermarket music. Maybe we should make an album that it should be called like that, you know? Like, have, like, a 10 tracks that is aimed for supermarket music. That's a good idea. Anyway, just a quick video vlog here today, um, uh, talking about supermarket music and inspiration and how, how easy it is to compose this type of music because, uh, you know, it's, a, a, anybody can do it. Any musician can do it. If you put your mind to it, you can actually do it. And you can do a better job than what is out there already. That's the message of this video for sure. And, uh, you know, it's another way of uh, getting inspiration, you know, from background music in a supermarket or a shop. You know, I don't really go shopping for clothes. 
I avoid going to a shop to buy clothes, uh, especially with the family, with my daughters and my, and my wife. So I don't, I can't really uh, tell you about my latest experience in a shop. And now shops are all closed anyways. They're all shut down. You can't really go shopping. I don't know where, how it is, where you will live, but you know, I think it's really good to, to look, always look um, for real life examples apart from, from the average commercial and, and YouTube ads or, or Facebook ads. They usually use a lot of uh, stock music. And when you're out there, listen to the background music and, and see how that's uh, been, been made and recorded and ask yourself, can you do a better job? Most of the times the answer is yes, you can. If you're somebody that is new to music licensing and to royalty free libraries, download my free guide, link in the description. It's been updated for 2021. I hope wherever you are in the world, you're doing fine, you're doing great. Thanks a lot for all the love and support. And as always, rock and roll, and here's to your success. Shh. <sharp inhale>